Based on a true story, Tom Cruise plays Barry Seal in the new movie, American Made. Russell here at House Hollywood Review, and if you guys haven't already, please click that subscribe button. You'll get notified anytime I bring anything new, anytime uh, I drop new uh, trailer reactions, anytime I do new reviews, anything new, you guys will get notified of it, so please do that. Like, comment, anything you can do, uh, tell friends about it, anything you guys can do to get this channel to grow, uh, I greatly appreciate it. Um, today's movie that I'm going to be reviewing is American Made. It is the new movie starring Tom Cruise. Um... It is rated R. It shows its runtime is 115 minutes. And again, like I said, it stars Tom Cruise, uh, Dom Hal uh, Gleason, and Sarah Wright. Um, it's directed by Doug Lehman, and he is the uh, director of Edge of Tomorrow and Mr. and Mrs. Smith and The First Born Identity. So this movie is, it takes you on a uh, roller coaster of a ride. Um, Tom Cruise's character, Barry Seal, is a TWA pilot. He ends up quitting his job and ends up joining the CIA, and he is recruited by the CIA to fly and take pictures of the insurgents in Central America. Well, upon doing that, he ends up being recruited by the Medellin uh, cartel to smuggle drugs into the United States. So, they have him running drugs, they have him running uh, firearms, and they have him running firearms into Central America. So he's he's doing all this different stuff, and then he basically he's playing both sides of the law. And basically this movie pretty much just shows when somebody's being completely, you know, overrun by both sides. Uh, Tom Cruise did a great job acting in this movie. This was one of Tom Cruise's best ones uh, out of the last couple years that he has done. Um, it's nice to see Tom Cruise back on the map again, as only Tom Cruise can do. Um, the movie really... Um, it follows along, like I said, from 1978 under the Carter administration, and then it kind of it, it kind of shows you uh, when Reagan takes office and really cracks down on the war on drugs and stuff like that. Pretty much what happens um, in the Central America area. Uh, like I said, Tom Cruise pretty much flawless in this movie. I thought he did a really really good job acting. Uh, it was very entertaining. Um, it was almost two hours long. It Nothing felt like it dragged on. It basically just painted a little picture. See, I didn't know anything about um, Barry Seal, so everything was pretty much kind of a surprise. But if you know the story of Barry Seal, then you you obviously know what's going to happen, you know, what happens in the end. Um, and like I said, I just I thought the movie really, really uh, did a good job uh, keeping your interest. You were curious to see what was going to happen next because you know this guy's in completely over his head. And you just wonder, when are, when's the House of Cards going to fall? So the movie was really good, like I said. I thought uh, Lehman did a great job directing uh, Cruise again. Uh, Edge of Tomorrow was really good, too. So it was nice to see him and uh, Cruise team back up for another good, solid movie. Um, and, and that's really about it. I thought the movie was good. Like I said, I'd give it pretty much an, like an 80 out of 100, an 8 out of 10. Um, I was really glad to see Tom Cruise back in form. Uh, the movie really holds your attention, and it, and, it, and it goes linear. It just follows him from 1978, and then you see little excerpts of him uh, talking later on, and then, and then he'll, show, like, he'll, he'll be talking about something, and then you kind of see it. So it, it sets up a nice linear, uh, a linear story. It's easy to follow. And like I said, it was, really, um, it was great to see Tom Cruise back at it. So if you guys haven't seen American Made, check it out. Definitely, uh, definitely recommend it. And join us next time at House Hollywood Reviews when we bring to you uh, Flatliners, the new uh, sequel to the 1990 original that Jules Schumacher directed. And until then, we'll see you in Hollywood. <laughs>